What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanic and today we're going to answer the very important question which is how many spot guns does it take to launch ourselves into space? I mean here we've got the basic setup, this is one spud gun with a piece of cardboard and of course as you've probably seen in some of my other videos when you shoot spud guns at cardboard and scrap mechanic they sort of transfer uh, the power to the object if you will. So here we go, let's see. Perfect. So that is the power of a single spud gun versus a toilet and of course you're going to say well that's not very exciting but I figure what we're going to do this episode is try and build a really basic setup that we can just multiply a bunch of times and then see if we can launch first of all ourselves in a toilet to space and then this little car and then this big car. Normally when we do this with explosives we use like you know 10, 12, maybe 20 spud guns. I feel like we need to get up to like two, three, four hundred spud guns and and maybe we'll be able to launch um something i don't know if we're ever gonna get this car to move but like this one we should be able to go somewhere right so let's start by building a basic assembly we're gonna need spud guns so we're gonna do just a five by five set and we'll hook them all up to a single or gate so we can just expand them and then hook those all up to the same trigger so we'll just build ourselves a little bit of a wall we'll delete and then we'll put down our spud gun so one two three four five well oh, there we go perfect and then we'll do five rows of this so this will give us 25 initially uh and i feel like this is going to be just really easy to multiply scale up and do all sorts of crazy stuff so there we go five by five spud guns we'll delete this and of course we'll flip this over so we can attach an or gate to the back of them so that's 25 spud guns uh we'll save this as 25 spud salute so if we build a five platform here five by five cardboard this should be the power of uh, 25 spud guns. So here we go. That's 5x5. Five five. And we need a trigger, of course. So let's put just a simple button down here. And we'll put this button into this gate. And then we'll wire this gate into every other gate all at the same time. So we just got to make sure we connect this up when we expand it. So now if we put a toilet on it, this should be the power of 25 spud guns on this toilet. And I mean, this should do something, right? So here we go. One, and three, two, one, go. I mean, that's pretty good. We got some height, some distance. Not really. I think we're coming straight back down. Is it actually, if this lands on top, that's going to be so awesome. Perfect. Amazing. We need more. Let's go, let's go straight from 25 to 100. We might need uh, to go out in the other direction to make sure that bearing stays centered. All right, here we go. This is a hundred spud guns versus a single toilet. And we'll connect it up. And in three, two, one. Holy. I think we hit the roof. I think, I think, I think we hit the roof. I also think that the roof threw us off now. Okay, so hundred spud guns. It launches a toilet, no problem. We are, oh, there's the, the rig. We're a little bit far away. We're coming down. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, no, I saw that coming. Perfect. You know, let's try with that mini car. I don't think it's enough yet. I think 100 spun guns is, you know, it's not, it's not enough. But let's take this mini car and we'll just weld it vertically up on top of the cardboard. And we'll see what happens. I don't think this is enough. I think maybe it'll like flop the car off the front but i mean leave your predictions in the comments down below i think we need at least double triple quadruple this um because it's based on the the mass of the object that you're sending right but here we go three two one go you know that it did better than i thought it would we actually like we got some height sorta this is 100 so let's go to 400 and actually let's just do this even easier because this is going to just take way too long when we get into bigger and bigger numbers so here we go this is a four pack of 100 spud guns let's put another or gate in the middle of these guys and connect it up it doesn't matter again as long as we keep consistent so there we go so that connects up to these four this is going to become a mess really really quickly let's go 100 to 400 i feel like this is going to start destroying the game pretty soon but here we go 400 spuds I can already feel the game lagging. It's it's bad. It gets like the occasional frame skip just because it doesn't like what we're doing. All right, here we go. There's 100, 200, 300, and 400. 
Okay, and then we just gotta, again, have a centralized OR gate here. All right, so uh, I think the first test, we'll put the toilet back on it. I really wanna see just how fast this goes. Um, this is four on spud guns. Uh, here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Holy cow. We hit the roof so fast. All right, so 400 spud guns clearly works against the toilet seat. I mean, I'm not really surprised. Let's try putting that small car on this again and seeing what happens. I feel like we should go four times as high, right? That's how it works. I mean, before we went up just a little bit. So let's get that little car out again. Where is it? Mini car. Perfect. And I feel like now we should go four times the height we did, or maybe even higher than that. I mean, I don't know how this works, but here we go. This is 400 spud guns versus little car. Three, two, one, go. You know, that wasn't bad. We're, we're actually, like, getting some height, kind of. We need more spud guns. We're going to be nowhere close to even moving that Humvee yet. You know what? We just got to keep going up in groups of four. Let's go four times that again. So let's go up to 1,600. All right. Perfect. So now this should this should fire all of them again. This is probably going to lag the game. It doesn't even shoot them all. I think we found a problem. Although it doesn't look like they're all firing, they all still apparently do, and they still break all the cardboard, and it literally launched the toilet outside of the boundaries of the map. That map is broken. It is gone. We are falling forever on that map, and there is no way to get back into the map, I don't think, without some, I don't know, fancy map editing. So we're in a new world now. We've got 1,600 spud guns again, and this time we're going to put that car on it, that little car. And we'll see what it does. So, we're not going to launch a uh, toilet seat again. That was insane. Uh, I didn't realize it would actually do that, but it did. We're not going to break this world, hopefully. I think the small car has enough weight to not get completely launched to Kingdom Come. But I honestly don't know. And then if this works, of course, the only thing left to do is scale up until we destroy the game. Or until we launch that Humvee into Purgatory. Um, so, I'm thinking we can get the car into Purgatory. And then, of course, we can, you know, I guess, drive around outside the map. Maybe that'll work. Let's see what happens here. All right. 1,600 spud guns versus small car. And three, two, one. Holy cow. It actually, like, it actually gives us some height. We're not going to hit the skybox, though. Oh, it's laggy. Oh, there's, I don't know. Oh, no, we're falling. Okay, so it's not enough to hit the skybox. We're getting there. We're close. This is awesome. It's like, it almost feels like you're surfing. Because you can use the wheels to kind of gyro control your car a little bit. And control how you're flipping. It feels like you're riding a wave almost. You're not, I mean, you're falling for sure. But this is really cool. We're going to land perfect, aren't we? Yeah, that's amazing. All right, so we had to weld this car nose down. There's some weird controller stuff on the back, so it doesn't really weld straight. Um, I mean, this should be fine. But we got, you know, one to open the doors, which yeah, well, we should have kept those closed. And then two opens the trunk there. Um, oh, there we go. They're closed. Perfect. And here we go. In three, two, one, jump. You know, that, that does better than I thought it would. To be perfectly honest. I mean, it's, it's still not great. This is like the first time... We launched the small car. Oh, God, why is it so laggy? What, what did I do? Is it all the spud guns? All right, we got a new map here. I don't know what happened. I deleted all the creations and there was still a giant frame loss on that map. So I feel like this is now gonna be like a one test per map type scenario, but let's grab the 1600 spud guns and we'll multiply this by four. So that'll be what, 6,400 spud guns? I feel like that's got to be enough to at least launch the small car to the top of the map. I don't know what we're going to do about the big car, to be perfectly honest. But um, if this doesn't work to launch the small car to the top of the map, I don't I don't think anything else will. There we go. That's 3,200. The game's already lagging. It already hates us. Haven't even 
I haven't even connected anything up yet. It's just like, it's just not having it anymore. All right, well, I feel like this might, this might be the final test. I'm really hoping it's not. Did that, okay. I'm seeing things now. This is fine. You know you've got a good creation when it's laggy on the lift. That's when, that's when you know you're in a good spot. Parts, 6,400. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think we can do another test. All right, um... As we place more cardboard, the game is slowly destroying itself. It's gotten incredibly laggy. I think one bearing is the problem. I don't think one bearing is strong enough to hold up 6,400 pieces of cardboard. Oh, no, we're back to Death City. Okay. No, you know what? I think I think we're not going to be able to finish all this cardboard unless we do it with the double spud gun method. So let's try and break this off. And then go to the double spud gun method and see what happens. Uh oh. I think we broke it. No, scrap mechanic, why you do this to me? It didn't even shoot. It just doesn't, it just flat up doesn't shoot. Oh god, that is so laggy. Alright, well, we broke that. And now I have no frames. Alright, so that world's dead. Uh, we're gonna try this again. 6400 spuds. We're gonna do it with the double spud gun method. I don't- I don't know if it's gonna be better. At least it'll hold the cardboard, because the bearing obviously couldn't do it. Um, okay, blue is where we need to be. Oh, this is still horribly laggy, just on its own. So we'll hook another little, you know, logic gate right into that logic gate. And, uh, then we'll put a button on this one. And now, theoretically, you shoot the button here. And you shoot this one spud first, which has, like, you know, one tick better than... I guess that's not true. It needs to be... How do I do this? Hold on. It needs to be the purple one? No, the red one. It was red, and then this, and then... No, that one distributes even more. Okay, it's this gate, actually. If this gate shoots this spud gun first, then that means this spud gun shoots one tick before all the other spud guns, which then should work. Here we go, moment of truth, predictions, and in three, two, one, go! I heard one spud, I saw it break. Oh, I heard the other spuds, Ooh, they did something! We have this epic still frame, I don't, are we, where are we, did anything happen? Come on, it was doing it, it was going to do it, I just want to see the results. Please don't crash my game. Well, to be honest, it's uh, it's been about five minutes. Uh, so far, the screen hasn't changed. Not sure. Not sure if it's ever going to. I think we might need to take the same test and maybe just remove half the spud guns for now. All right, before we create a new world and try it with 3,200 spud guns, I want to see if we reload this world, what happens? Does anything happen or does it just does just die. I don't even think it's gonna load, to be honest. I think we're probably gonna get to the end of the loading bar. Or we're gonna be in the middle of midair. Who knows? Maybe we'll be, you know, flying up to the clouds. Oh. The loading bar is full. And the Oh. Oh. Yeah, it didn't really it didn't really apply the physics. And there goes all the spuds. I think this is uh 4,000 something spud gun test. Hopefully it doesn't crash the game like 6,000 does. That's not anywhere close to the middle, but anyways, here we go. Three, two, one, go! I pressed the button and nothing happened. All right, three, two, one, go! Okay, saw the one break. Heard something. Oh, we're off. Oh, we've moved. We're moving. Uh, I spoke too soon. We were moving. You know, I wonder if the problem is particles. I wonder if we turn off particles, would that make a difference? Maybe if we just don't have any particles trying to render? Because the game, I think, is trying to render all the particles. And obviously, you can see it hits a limit where it just can't render particles anymore. But I don't know if it would stop rendering the spuds. I think the spuds are also part of the problem because it's trying to render, you know, like 4,000 spuds. All right, scrap mechanic potato version engaged. Wow, we have so many frames now. This is amazing. It literally doubled my frame rate. You know, this doesn't this doesn't feel too bad. This feels actually pretty good. 
Maybe this will work this time. Here we go. Scrap mechanic. No graphics test in three, two, one, go. Every time I hit the button, it doesn't do anything. There we go. Oh. Still frozen. Still frozen. I think the problem is it can't render all the spuds. When you quit and reload the world, it renders the spuds, but then you don't have any of the physics. You lose the speed. That makes me sad. Oh, we're moving! We hit the top of the map! What? We're coming down, and now we're frozen again! We moved for, like, a fraction of a second there. We hit the top of the map. We definitely hit the top of the map, because we are coming down way too- or, or maybe it just, you know, maybe it just calculated all the physics. I honestly have no idea. And I don't know, it, it either calculated all the physics going all the way up, or we just hit the top of the map. But I think we did. Oh, yep. Yeah, here we are. We're way up here. Where's the car? Oh my goodness, there's the spuds! <laughs> that was awesome! They just- that was the problem, but I don't understand. Because, so the car is there, according to the physics. The car didn't even move. It literally just- it just fell over. We got launched up into oblivion, came down with the car, but then- here's what I don't understand. The spuds all technically hit cardboard. So why do they all... Like, why do you see all the spuds? They all shoot the cardboard. Alright, so let's just, uh, let's delete right here. And then we'll clean up this section. And then we should be down to exactly double the 1600. So we should be 3200 spud guns. And I feel like, hopefully, with all these particles and stuff turned off, and with only 3200 spud guns, we'll actually be able to see the full effect of it launching that small car. I mean, I think it'll hit the top of the map maybe with only 3,200. Uh, it seems like it did with 4,000 something, but I mean, again, the game basically breaks every time you try and shoot it, so that doesn't really tell us much. All right, here we go. Grabbing the car. Not really in the middle, but who cares? We're attaching that up. 3,200 spud gun test in three, two, one, go! Okay, it definitely broke the one. Definitely broke the other. We're definitely going somewhere. It just it just dies. You can't even do it with 3,200 spunk guns. That's so upsetting. Oh, there we go. Oh, we moved only like 10 feet. Yeah, this, this is what happened last time. Is it going to let us move another 10 feet? Oh, there we go. There we go. It worked. We went up. Oh, now we're super laggy. I feel like all the spuds are spawning. Are they above us? No, they're definitely all spawning. I can't tell if we hit the top of the map, though. I get, like, three freeze frames, and then we're falling backwards. And, I mean, I have control. We've got, like, six frames per second now. I have no idea where the spuds are. I don't think the spuds exist. But then why are we so laggy? I think the game is just dying every time it tries to load the spuds. I feel like we hit the top of the map. But I think we have to remove another row... And really find out if it worked. Wow, look at the bounce on that. That is that is a big bounce. Holy cow. Just some flips. Look at that. That's amazing. We're just going to delete another row of this five section. And it should all disconnect no problem. And we'll just keep deleting it in chunks of five. I really just want to see a full run with actual height, but I don't think we can actually do that. I think the game just breaks when it tries to load spuds, and it's... I'm, I'm pretty sure we've hit the map. I think we've hit the top of the map. I mean, 1600 basically sends you to purgatory, so I'm pretty sure 3200 would have launched us with that car to the top of the map. So, one thing I'm actually noticing now, um, as we place cardboard, all the game's sound is broken. There's no... I've never had this glitch before. There's no sound in the game. I didn't turn my volume down. The volume is still here. There's just no in-game audio being recorded or uh, being played anymore, I guess, is the word. And I'm not I'm not crazy. You literally, you can't hear anything. Like, if we, if we have an explosive over here and we hit it with a hammer, it doesn't, like, there's no sound. See? No sound. Isn't that ridiculous? All right, hopefully the final test right here. Grab this, wire it up. I just want to see it work. I just... I just want to see it. All right. Three, two, one. Yeah, we have to press the button twice. That's right. All right, there we go. Yes, 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 it's working. Yes, we see. Yeah, oh, you hit the skybox. Million miles an hour. That is insane. 
We hit it so fast. Oh, it actually worked. I'm so excited. Saw the whole thing all the way up. That's so great. How many spug guns is that? That's got to be like almost 3,000, right? What a, what a shot. Right to the top of the skybox. All right, so there's only one test left to do now. I can't believe that works. That's, I'm so excited, guys. You have no idea. This has been so long of just staring at frozen screens. Finally, it works. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do one more test. I'm stoked now. I, I just want to send stuff to oblivion and beyond. Um, so it's not enough to make that car clip completely out of bounds like it did with the toilet seat. Not really surprised about that, to be honest. And uh, now we're just gonna put the Humvee on it, like the bigger car. It's not, there's no way it's gonna hit the top of the map with the bigger car. Here we go. Humvee test. Small car can hit the top of the map. Can the Humvee? I can't even see. This is the worst view ever. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, it removed. You know what? That's, that's not bad. We didn't get nearly halfway. Not even close, but it's higher than I thought it would go, to be honest. I thought we would kind of barely move, but... Oh, oh boy. Perfect. Of course, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Um, let's do a check real quick. Let's just break this off. How many spud guns is it? All right, here we go. What do you think? What's the prediction? Put your predictions down now, and it is... Da -da -da -da, 2,800 spud guns. 2,801. One for the trigger, and then 2,800... To actually do all the shooting but of course let me know what you guys think in the comments down below we are going to do one final thing and that is of course leave this map completely we're just going to take this weld it back up and uh we're going to put a toilet seat on top of the cardboard we're going to go back to non-existent space make sure of course you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and uh as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we're going to see y'all next time i'm i'm gonna leave the map see ya oh oh Oh. oh my goodness, it's not actually... What happened? Why did a bathtub... Why did it keep that cardboard attached? What? That didn't work? Alright, let's try that again, shall we? Uh, see you next time. Bye! Uh-oh. Uh oh. I think we actually broke the game. It just that doesn't that doesn't even work anymore. We just the cardboard all disappeared. It didn't shoot any spuds. But we're stuck here. Alright, I guess third attempt must be the charm, so uh here we go. Yep. Yep, now now we're Wow, we're so far out of the map. The camera is like trying to catch up. There we go. The camera's, it's getting there.